Good day everybody! Pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay solving linear equations involving absolute value. Halimbawa, mayroon tayong bisitang si Ana. Si Ana ay may bahay na 4 kilometers mula sa school. Samantala, ang bahay ni Jelay ay 4 kilometers din mula sa school. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, ang kanilang bahay ay opposite direction. Si Ana ay papuntang east. Samantalang, si Jelay ay papunta namang west. So, re we represent positive 4 to Jelay's house from school. So, we'll have here absolute value 4 and that is equal to positive 4 while we represent negative 4 to our house of Jelai. So, we have absolute of negative 4 that is equal to positive 4. So, this means that even though they have different directions their house is same as four kilometers from the school and we call that as an absolute value and we have the property if absolute value of x is equal to a then absolute value of x is equal to positive a or the absolute value of x is equal to negative a. Let us have now example. Number one, absolute value of 7. That is positive 7. Number two, absolute value of 0. That is 0. Number three, Absolute value of negative 8. That is positive 8. Number 4. Negative absolute value of 4. That is equal to negative 4. As you see, there is a negative sign outside the absolute value sign. And number 5. Absolute value of 4 plus absolute value of negative 1 that is 5 because the absolute value of 4 is positive 4 the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 the absolute value equation is an equation which the variable appears within the absolute value symbol Example number one, solve absolute value of x equals to 4. Simply, x is equal to positive 4 or x is equal to negative 4. So this is our answer. By checking, we will just substitute the value of our x. So we have now, for x equals to 4, just substitute positive 4 inside the absolute value symbol equals 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4 equals 4. And they are? equal meaning our first answer is correct what about for x equals to negative 4 substituting this one the absolute value of negative 4 is equal to positive 4 remember absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 equals 4 and they are equal 
So let us solve this using graphing. So using this number line, our reference point is 0. Paano malalaman ang reference point? Going back to our given, walang kasamang constant ang ating x. Therefore, reference point is 0. So we need to count, since this is 4, 4 times going to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And plot the point in positive 4. Next is from 0 again, count 4 times going to the left. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, plot the point here. Therefore, the solution set is negative 4 or positive 4. Now, let us solve absolute value of 5x equals 25. So, what you are going to do is 5x equals to 25, positive 25, and divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, therefore the remaining one is x equals 25 divided by 5 is 5. So, therefore, we have now the first value of x or we can use this symbol, this equation. 5x equals negative 25. As you see, the first equation is positive 25 here. And the second equation is negative 25. Again, divide both sides by 5. 5x divided by 5 is x. Negative 25 divided by 5 is negative 5. So our answer is x equals 5 or x equals to negative 5. By checking, we will just substitute for x equals 5. Absolute value of 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And then 5 times 5 is the absolute value of 25 equals 25. Now, the absolute value of 25 is 25 equals 25. And they are equal. For x equals negative 5, just substitute again. 5 times negative 5, we have absolute value of negative 25 equals 25. So, we have absolute value of negative 25 is 25 equals 25. And they are equal. Now, let us solve this by graphing using this number line. Again, Walang kasama ang 5x natin dito. Therefore, ang reference point natin ay 0 pa din. So, we have to count 5 times going to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And plot the points. Then, 5 counts going to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, plot the point. So, our answer here is negative 5 or positive 5. Now, let us have number 3. Find the solutions of x minus 2 equals 3. So, we have here x minus 2 equals positive 3 or x minus 2 equals negative 3. As you see, we have positive 3 here and we have negative 3 here. Now, let us solve first this first equation. We have to add positive 2 to both sides or just transpose. So, we have x equals to 3 plus 2. So, from negative 2, it becomes positive 2. Therefore, we have 
x is now equal to 3 plus 2 is 5. That is our first value of x. Or x minus 2 equals negative 3. By adding 2 to both sides will give you x equals negative 3 plus 2. So again, positive 2 here came from this one, negative 2. We transpose. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So our answer is x equals 5 or x equals to negative 1. One. Let us have now the checking. For x equals 5, just substitute absolute value of 5 minus 2 equals to 3. The absolute value of 5 minus 2 is 3 equals 3. Absolute value of 3 is positive 3 equals 3. So this is true. For x is equal to negative 1. So we have here the original equation, then substitute negative 1 to your x. So we have absolute value of negative 1 minus 2 equals to positive 3. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 equals 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. That is equal to 3. And this is true. By graphing using this number line, going back to the original equation, we will use positive 2 to our reference point. Paano malaman yon? This one, if you will get the inverse of negative 2, that is our reference point from this one. Negative 2, the inverse of that is positive 2. So from here, as you see, we have equals to 3. So we have to count 3 times, going to the right and left. So 1, 2, 3. Then plot the point. From 2, we have to count 3 times going to the left. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, our solution set is negative 1 or 5. Now let us have number 4. Find the solutions of x plus 1 equals to 3. So we have here x plus 1 equals 3 or x plus 1 equals to negative 3. Adding both sides positive 1, you'll have x equals to negative 1. Therefore, 3 minus 1 is 2. That is the first value of x. Or, x equals negative 3 minus 1. So, adding negative 1 to both sides. So, x is equal to negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Therefore, our answer here is x equals 2 or x equals negative 4. By checking, just substitute positive 2 to your x. So, absolute value of 2 plus 1 equals to 3. Then, 2 plus 1 is equal to absolute value of positive 3 equals 3. Absolute value of 3 is positive 3 equals 3. And they are equal. For x equals to negative 1, absolute value of x plus 1 equals to 3, substitute. Negative 4 plus 1 equals to 
3. So, negative 3 equals to positive 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3 equals positive 3. And they are equal. Using the number line. This time, ang reference point natin is negative 1. Since we have here positive 1 kasama ng x, ang inverse dito ay negative 1. So, we have here the reference point. Therefore, counting 3 times going to the right and going to the left. So, yung 3 galing po dito. So, bilang tayo. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, we have here the first value of x. And from negative 1, we have to count 3 times again. 1, 2, 3. And we have the second value of x, which is negative 4. Therefore, our solution set is negative 4 or positive 2. Number 5. Find the solutions of 2x plus 1 equals 5. So, we have 2x equals to 5. Adding negative 1 both sides. So, minus 1 here equals to 2x. 5 minus 1 is 4. Then, divide both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is x equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. That is the first value of x. Or, we can use this equation. 2x plus 1 equals to negative 5. As you see, the first equation has positive 5 here. And the second equation is having negative 5 here. Adding negative 1 both sides, we have 2x equals negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. Divide both sides by 2. That will give you x equals negative 3. So, our answer is x equals 2 or x equals to negative 3. By checking, we have 2x plus 1 equals 5. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is absolute value of 5. That is equal to 5. Absolute value of 5 is 5 equals 5. And they are equal. For x equals to negative 3, substitute again. 2 times negative 3 plus 1 equals to 5. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 1. That is negative 5. Absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. And they are equal. Therefore, the solution set is negative 3 or positive 2. Thank you for watching.